Welcome back. I was asked to do a tutorial on how I do my scratch built distributors. So, first thing, I, I use two types of rod here, 5 30 seconds and 3 30 seconds. You're going to need a pin vise, some drill bits. I think I'm using a 72 here. And naturally, you're going to need ignition wire, spark plug wire, sanding stick, and here's how I cheated. A couple years ago, I ordered the photo etched distributor kit, and it came with a turned distributor and, and the tops and the You've got the looms and everything you need. So I thought, well, why not make my own? So I took the V8 distributor piece off, and I just mounted it under a piece of tape, and that's what I use as my template. So I take a piece of styrene, pretty thin, I think it's uh, pretty thin. I think it's uh, two thousand, two hundredths, something like that. So let's get on with it here. First thing is I take my template, I tape it down to the plastic. So I just tape it on the plastic. Take my pin vise, drill holes all the way through. And then once you've done that, you've got a perfect plastic template for the top of your distributor. So after you've got that, cut it out so you've got the top. Take your 5 30 seconds and the distributor out of your kit. Take that out and I like to measure it just so I know how tall the distributor is, so I measure it up. And make sure I cut a piece really pretty small, same height as the distributor. So once I've got that little piece right there, I take the 3 30 seconds rod, or not rod, but tube. I take the tube because it fits inside the 5 30 seconds nicely. I take a chunk of that tube and I put it together with the uh, plastic solvent cement and I don't push it all the way up. I leave a little room. So now basically I've got it glued together. Let that dry. Once that's dry, take a straight piece of wire and run it through the 3 30 seconds all the way through your distributor. And then I take my template here I've made from my template and right through the coil wire where the coil wire is supposed to go I push that onto there so now I'm going to take a little more of my solvent and glue that down okay just a little around the edges here And 
pop that on. And that'll help you uh, keep it centered. A little extra around the base here. But you have to do some sanding with this. So, now I'm moving a little quicker than I want to, but once you get that all glued together, which, uh, once you get that top glued on there, you got to let it sit. The solvent takes a little bit to really dry. So once you're down to that point, now you're going to trim and sand the edges so that the tube, you just got to sand it down a little bit. So you just make little cuts here to get it close. You're going to take your sanding stick and go around that nice and easy. Okay, and you'll, once you get that sanded down to where you want, well now here's where you're going to have to go back in because your wires will fit in there. Fit all the way through sometimes. But you're going to want to take your pin vise and re-drill these at a slight inward angle. Okay, you got to take out a little bit of that tubing. So just to make sure, you re-drill all eight outer holes. Okay, really slowly. So that way your wires will go into your distributor far enough. And once you have them drilled out, you can test fit your wires. So you can pop your wires into there. Gives you a little bit more realistic look. You got to make sure it's sanded, whatnot. And once you've got it all down to sanded, well now you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, Let's see if I can. Okay, nice distributor wires are glued in, ready to go wherever you need them to go. And the last thing is sometimes I'll glue this into my engine depending on how big the base is but some distributors for these cars have a smaller piece so I might cut this off here and run another piece of rod and I believe it's I believe it's one sixteenth rod. Will fit, or maybe it's uh, it's smaller than one sixteenth. But you run a piece of rod, and I know I have a piece. And maybe it's. Thirty thousandths, thirty thousandths, yeah, thirty thousandths will fit right in there. So if you have a smaller piece, you can cut that off, glue the thirty thousandths rod in there, and then there you have your finished distributor. The key with me is just take your time, make sure this stuff dries you run into problems when you don't let these uh, 
piece is dry and you start sanding too early or doing something just be patient with this and sometimes after I'm done sanding uh, getting it round getting the holes done I will take a file and just for a little more realism I mark between the spark plugs I put a mark all the way around and then I will take a file and I will just file a groove on each point and that will give me a little bit of realism I don't know if you can see that but give you a little bit more realism on the uh, distributor so that's what I've got for making my own distributors I haven't drilled out a kit distributor or bought a distributor kit uh, from anybody for I don't know, a little over two years once I figured out this process. I just make them and paint them to what I need. And you can see here on the 440, I made that distributor doesn't look too bad. The other thing is, is if your distributor comes with a vacuum advance on the side, I just cut that off and then glue that to my new distributor. So those are all the little fine details and uh, hope you get something out of this. Again, thanks to my subs. Thanks to everybody. Have a good one.